Okay, so I had a friend reach out today with a pretty good question. I think everyone's thinking about the housing market right now. And I wanted to share that question mixed with my response that we had over a text this morning and just relay what's going on in the market and how I can best help everyone. So I had a friend reach out and go, hey, I've seen a bunch of loan officer videos, you know, mine and other people go and say that the housing market's always going to be strong. They said posting that last year into this year. Um, and now we're seeing the market kind of fall back a little bit. And he's like, a, you know, housing market or crash is inevitable here. It's coming up soon. It's on the horizon. So he goes, what do you think? It's a strong market. What are loan officers pushing? So here was my response. Market crash would suggest that prices fall back about 20 to 30 percent. So since the height of the market in June till now, we've seen a 6% drop. A lot of experts that I follow suggest that it's gonna be about a 10% drop, which would not be a housing crash, but a correction. This is all tied to rates. That's no surprise. We have rates that are at all time, you know, highs since about 08 or 7%. They could tick up a little bit more before they get better, but that's directly correlated to the drawback on prices. But to suggest a market crash, I don't see it happen happening. I don't think we're gonna see some $450,000 house in March be listed at 300,000, like I think some people would want, and I just don't think it's gonna happen, and here's why. We have a supply issue. I, you probably have heard it, and I'm just reiterating, we have a supply issue. We stopped building after the crash, and we never caught back up. We have a few other things at play now. We have investors buying homes at insane rates, and we also have this millennial generation, which is the biggest home buying generation to ever hit the market, entering the market. So we have a bunch of people buying with not enough supply. So despite interest rates, that factor alone is gonna to continue to raise prices long-term. Like year over year numbers, homes have still appreciated about you know 12 to 15%. So we have all of that, like that's still driving the market and will continue to drive the market. So here's where I see the opportunity and why I still believe it's a good time to buy. The only bad thing about buying a home in this market is the interest rate, but that's only, that's temporary. That will go away. So we're gonna have rates now, sevens, maybe we touch eight, I don't know but those are gonna get better. We have experts also suggesting that between uh, six months to a year from now, we should have a rate, rates relief. We've had Fannie Mae reach out, or we've had Fannie Mae bring out these numbers. I follow MBS Highway, they talk about all these numbers. I expect, as well as a lot of other people, that we're gonna fall in the five to five and a half range. I think that's very suitable for a balanced market. I don't know if we're gonna get there, or when we're gonna get there. We will get there, I don't know when though. So all that said, that's the only downside. You get sellers to pay for closing costs. You get to keep money in your pocket. There's no competition. You're able to negotiate things to help bring down that interest rate to make it more affordable. The only hurdle right now is making sure you can afford the home that make, is a, has a comfortable payment for the home you want, and then payments will get better later. Uh, not to mention all this, we're seeing a 6% drawback on, on prices, like I just mentioned on the median home price, well, if you buy now and interest rates come back down, that's gonna stimulate prices yet again, and you're gonna be sitting on a huge equity gain. Like as they're pulling back and you're purchasing, then they're gonna they're gonna turn back around with better uh, lower interest rates that are gonna bring a bunch of people to the market. So if you're able to buy now and it's comfortable, you're getting it with no, no competition, and then you're gonna get the same rate as someone who's gonna buy a year from now because you'll refinance. That's what's the beautiful thing about this market. I don't see a crash. I have numbers and people backing that up that I trust and follow. And we're gonna have, over the long term, and here's also what I said, over the long term, you're always gonna win in real estate. I had said, if you're looking to buy a home and sell it within you know two years, maybe you don't do that. I don't know if the, you're gonna get the return that you're gonna want. But if you're gonna hold it for three, five years, live in it, potentially rent it out, then if you can afford the home, it's gonna make complete sense. And one more thing, to put myself into this, I am looking to potentially buy a home next year. Like I want to collect real estate over my life. I am practicing what I preach. So I understand what's going on. I, as a buyer, if I can afford that payment, I love this because it's less competition. I don't have to worry about everyone else. I get the pick of the litter. I get to be picky on the home I want to purchase if it makes sense. This was super long-winded. A lot of this, a lot, a lot to take in here but I wanted to pass that along because I think it's super important. Everyone's thinking it and I wanted to get a little higher level answer to everything that you're thinking. Please do not hesitate to reach out and ask me these questions. I'd love to talk about this stuff. I freaking breathe it every day. Um, I wish I didn't sometimes because I care so much, but please reach out if you ever have any questions on this. I'm always happy to help and point people in the right direction and build wealth through real estate.